I see a lot of new riders out here that end up having a real effed up day and they quit riding their motorcycles because of one common thing that most of them do when they get out here and ride their motorcycles. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the biggest mistake that I see new riders make out here on the streets that oftentimes end up setting them up for a real effed up day and then they don't ride their motorcycle anymore. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Check out these new gloves I got. These new React Shorty gloves looking proper. For those of you guys who want to get these new Shorty gloves, this awesome helmet I got, the super lightweight has the auto tint shield, uh, this airbag vest to help keep you safe out there, my new Sadichi jacket, my uh, motor vlog camera. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Let's go for a ride, baby. <laughs> I tell you guys, the worst thing you new riders can do right off the jump is stop watching these stunners on YouTube. Stop watching these street Rossies doing knee slides and elbow slides and thinking you have the skills to do that too out here on the streets. Don't do it guys, I'm telling you. The best riders are the riders that go to the MSF class and don't try to hot dog it out here on the street. Like this. Yeah baby, <laughs> don't do that out here. But I see so many riders out here, the biggest mistake they can make is coming out here, trying to be a street Rossi, and hot dogging it, running hot into corners. Stop trying to speed through corners out here on the streets. Stop treating these streets like a track. The reason why I'm doing this video, I've done a video like this in the way in the past, but I have to get this message across again, because I'm out here, I'm seeing a lot of, I've seen some new riders out here today, that are trying to fly through these corners, man. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen guys out there where they, they, they hit the corner hot and then they panic. And they end up braking and then their bike ends up running wide and they end up flying off on the side of the road here, hitting a tree or running into gravel, crashing and having a real effed up day. There's many videos on YouTube, crash videos that you can see where you see guys doing this. Because these guys don't have the skills and a lot of them have target fixation. They don't know how to avoid target fixation. That's another reason why a lot of guys have a real effed up day out here. Is because they, get, they focus their eyes on something and their eyes don't let go. And your bike is going to go where your eyes are going. So you're going to end up riding off road and, and setting yourself up for real effed up day. Instead of staying focused where you want to go. These streets really are for just cruising. You see, I got rid of my sport bikes, guys. I had a CBR a 600 R. I had a CBR 1000 R. I had an Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory. Got rid of all them bikes, guys. You see, I'm on a supermoto now because I realized after getting my second tick speeding ticket, I <laughs> <laughs> and, and almost my, my license almost having a real effed up day luckily I got my better call Sal attorney who hooked me up and somehow miraculously got it reduced down to a non-moving traffic violation <laughs> after that guys I, I, I sold a bike and I, I was like we stick in the super motor life I, I may end up getting another support bike of some sort but you're not going to see me try to be a street Rossi out here and, and Trying to get that, you know, chasing those triple digit speeds. It's just stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell you guys, skip the super sport and the super bikes. Because it's going to tempt you to want to rip that throttle. This is telling you like it is, man. I try to keep it as real as I possibly can. And this bike is too much for the streets. I love the sound, but I, I love the speed even more. And that's a problem for me. Because I find myself... If I come across a desolate road on one of these backcountry roads, I just want to crank the hell out of the throttle and just hear a scream. Crank the throttle, man! 
That's what it's saying. That's what it wants. And I can't give it to it. I can't do it, man, because if I do it, I end up in jail, man. How do you just cruise around doing the speed limit, 35, 55, you know, at the most, what, 75, and have all that power at your fingertips and can't use it, you know? And when you, if you do use it, you're taking a risk, you're taking a chance. That's why really these bikes are meant for the track. It could set you up for a real effed up day because a lot of you guys just don't have the skills to, to handle a bike like that, you know? Take, if you wanna get into that type of riding, go to the track, guys. That's what those bikes are made for. Those are street legal track bikes. The only reason it's got a plate on it is because it's for you to be able to drive from your house to the track if you want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These bikes are not really meant for the street, man. They're not even tuned really for the street, most of them. A lot of them lack bottom end power, you know? Um, so I'll tell you new riders out there, stop trying to be a street Rossi. Stop watching these fools on YouTube flying around corners these morons and I was a moron too in the past I did a video way back like when I had the CBR 600 double R and I was flying through the park and uh, trying to get the knee slide action in and all that and got pulled over got a, a cop that pulled me over and thank God that he was a rider that actually record not only did he let me off the hook but he recommended I ride tail of the dragon he said where I can really fly that was awesome man I tell you that was awesome but I got very lucky that day because the park that you see that I'm in right now this park system the speed limit is 30 miles per hour guys I was probably doing damn near probably like 80 90 miles an hour man I was really trying to get it I was trying to be a street Rossi out here man and um, and even the cop commented he said man you, you got some knee oh, he thought I got some knee slide action out there <laughs> baby get some wheel action up a hill up a hill <laughs> see I tell you get you a supermoto have fun with all this torque bless some wheels you know go off road a little bit get some donut action or go ride off on the single tracks you can do it all with the supermoto baby especially if you got the Shinko 705 ADV tires I got on my bike I could do it all and you will have more confidence on this bike but also I'll tell you guys that a lot of new riders I see out here that go hot into corners is be, uh, what they do a lot of them are doing more body lean than their bikes actually leaning like they don't know how to do proper counter steering you see these fools hanging off their bike man <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The bike ain't even leaning hardly. And they, they, they're sitting up here trying to, uh, they're thinking they're getting some knee slide action and the bike is leaning like 30 degrees. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys, learn counter steering. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is a simple, you know, push of the, the left or right bar to turn you into the proper direction. That's all you got to do. You don't have to do any crazy lean action out here, man. All you got to do, see here, you press the left here, leans left. You press right, it leans right. That's all you got to do, baby. But stop trying to do some street Rossi action out here. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to see you have a real effed up day and end up quit riding your motorcycle. All right? Now, I have a how to ride a motorcycle video series you might want to go check out. I'll include that link in the description. <laughs> In the comment section of this video go check it out but leave a comment below guys I want to hear from you let's talk about it and uh, let's see what you got to say and I want to see you guys riding out here that's why I do these videos guys to help motivate 
to help incite community discussion so that we can all become better riders and not be a hooligan like cycle crews out here on the streets <laughs> but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel bug out moto thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.